Hi friends, welcome to our YouTube channel. Today we have to discuss about C program to store n integers in text file. Suppose we are taking n integers, that integers are right into a text file called sample.txt. Okay, so this is the program we have to write. In the previous videos, we are already discussed about write a C program to copy the contents from one file to another file. That is the first program. Another program, write a C program to merge the contents of two files and write into another file. Next, third program, C program to read data from the keyboard and write into a file by using formatted file IO functions. So these are the uh, programs that we are discussed in the previous video. If anybody wants, please refer that video in my YouTube channel. We have to declare the header files. Hash include stdio.h Next, the second header file is hash include cvo nivo dot h console input output header file. Next, we have to write main function. Every C program execution starts with the main function. Okay. First, we have to declare the file pointer fp. So file pointer fp. So fp is a file pointer pointing to a file called sample.txt. Its type is file. This structure file is included in the header file called hash include stdio.h. Okay. Next one int i comma n. So here how many number of integers we have to read uh, from the keyboard. Okay. Next i is a loop variable. Next one clr scr. First we have to read n integers from the keyboard. Okay. So printf enter n value. Scanf to read n value from the keyboard, we have to write scanf function. And present n. Yeah. Okay. Next, first we have to open the file in write mode. So fp is equal to f open. File name is sample.txt. This file is opened in write mode because whatever the integers that are read from the keyboard, that integers are write into a file called sample.txt. Here, this is the file name. This is a text file because uh, txt extension is there. Hence, we can say that this file is called as a text file. This file can be opened by using fopen function in write mode. The, this file is pointed by file pointer fp. Okay. Next, for i is equal to 1, i less than or equal to n, i plus plus. Here I am taking a uh, for loop because to read n integers from the uh, keyboard, okay, that n integers are write into a file, file 
for sample dot txt. Okay, here i value starts with 1, okay, and ending with n. So, n number of integers that are read from the uh, keyboard. Okay, that integers are write into a this file sample dot txt. Okay. So here I am using put to w put to w comma i comma esp semicolon for loop close. Okay. Next one is f close of fp. Next one is get ch and program is close. Now output. Output enter n value. So enter n value means whatever the n value we are given from the keyboard that number of integers that number of integers read from the keyboard and write into a file called sample.txt. I am writing 5. Enter n value is 5. Okay. 5 integers are read from the keyboard. Okay. So that every integer that we are read from the keyboard, that integers are write into a file called sample.txt pointed by the file pointer fp. Okay. What are the integers that we are write into the uh, file sample.txt? Okay. So, after reading the n value, okay. So, this file is opened in write mode by using fopen function pointed by fp. First, I am taking i is equal to 1. Yes. 1 less than or equal to n. n value is 5. 1 less than or equal to 5. Condition true. The control goes to the body of the for loop. Put w i comma fp. i value is 1. 1 is write into a file called sample.txt pointed by fp. So, this file is, for example, this file is sample.txt sample dot txt so this file pointer pointed by efp okay first i value 1 1 is right into the file pointer fp pointing to sample dot txt file 1 we have to write next i value is incremented now i value is 2 2 less than or equal to n value 5 2 less than or equal to 5. Condition true. The control goes to the body of the for loop. Put w 2 comma fp. So, if I 2 value is right into the file sample.txt pointed by fp. So, 2 is right into the file. Okay. Next, i value incremented. Now, i value 3. 3 less than or equal to 5. Condition true. So, I value 3. 3 is right into the uh, file sample.txt pointed by fp by using put w function. 3 is printed. Next one, I value incremented 4. 4 less than or equal to 5. Condition true. The control goes to the body of the for loop. 5, uh, a 4 is right into the file called sample.txt pointed by fp using put w function 4 is printed okay next i value is incremented 5 5 less than or equal to 5 condition true the control goes to the body of the for loop 5 is right into the sample.txt file using put w function pointed by fp so 5 is right into a file called sample.txt txt. Next, i value incremented, i value 6, 6 less than or equal to 5, false. Whenever this condition is false, the control goes to the next statement after the for loop. 
what are, what is the statement is there after the for loop f close of fp we have to close that file sample.txt pointed by fp so then program is closed so this is the simple program to store an integers into a text file called sample.txt so thank you thank you for watching this video if you like this video please click on like button if you like this video please share this video to your friends and classmates if you like this video please subscribe my channel name so divya srinivas rao thank you please subscribe my channel for future updates thank you